WWE 2K22. It hits different. That is the tagline for WWE 2K22. So, I've compiled this list of different things that I would want in 2K22 that would make it actually hit different rather than it be some stupid marketing strategy. So, I've compiled this list with different categories such as match types, universe mode, my career, gameplay, creations, and a bunch of other different categories with different things within each of those categories that would make 2K22 actually live up to its tagline, it is different. So we're going to start off with the match types. The match types include special guest referee both online and offline. Uh, that is one of the match types that has been highly requested by a lot of people among the 2K community. Um, it's just fun. I remember the days of screwing around with my friends on SmackDown Here Comes the Pain and doing those. Um, that is really, really fun. Having a mode, even in universe mode, where you could control the ref and let the AI play it out would be interesting too as well. That would open up so many avenues in universe mode if that was a matchup to, to be put in there. Inferno matches, that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you know, I, putting somebody on fire, uh, that was part of the, uh, I think it was like a Firefly Funhouse match with The Fiend with Randy Orton. So I don't see why they can't put that in the game. The I Quit match, uh, I Quit match, again, another really well-loved, beloved uh, match type that was in previous games. Buried Alive matches where you have to put your opponent in a casket or bury them alive. Things like that would be awesome to have in the game. Different mixed tag match types. We had mixed tag match for mixed match uh, challenge in 2K20. So just having different match types, like maybe mixed tag extreme rules, um, you know, just other things, other variations of those match types. Having a gauntlet match would be really cool, especially for universe mode. It could set up storylines for number one contender spots and, and other things like that. Um, that's one other match type that I would like to see in the game. Now, universe mode. I have a lot here because I'm a big universe mode user. I use it a lot. And I compiled this list with two of my good friends that also use universe mode quite a bit. So, here's some of the things that I think would definitely improve universe mode as it's been a mode that has been completely stale for the past five years. It hasn't really gotten any updates other than rivalries, which I believe w were introduced in 2K14. So we're going to start off with a simple one, and that's tournaments. Tournaments you can do in exhibition. Uh, I would like to see there to be tournaments in universe mode, something where you could span it across uh, multiple nights in your calendar, um, maybe for a championship or number one contender spot maybe for a trophy or different types of rewards that sort of thing would be nice to have in universe mode uh, since it's already there in exhibition so it shouldn't be too hard for them to integrate it with universe mode uh, like I mentioned with rivalries there should be triple threat and fatal four-way rivalries meaning that we already have two on two rivalries and one on one rivalries however there are is such thing as factions and wrestling of like sometimes four to five maybe even six people so expanding this would really really help with um, rivalries and telling a story in universe mode with factions rather than just tag teams of two and one-on-one -on -one rivalries now this is gonna gonna kind of go in line with create a story mode which we saw in 2k14 and that's simply Adding more cutscenes for universe mode, for rivalries, and to be able to really tell your own story. Being able to choose what cutscenes to play out and and have some like video suite where you can play them in universe mode and kind of like plan out a rivalry 
as it's happening in your universe mode just opens up the creatability of um, anybody that wants to make their own universe mode. Um, it just opens up more avenues for people to be more creative. And I think that's the whole purpose of universe mode is to build your own show, to be creative, be your own booker, uh, that sort of thing. And so having that would be awesome. And this next one right here is kind of a pipe dream, meaning that it's something I could see them adding down the road, not something right now, um, but something that would really, really help the 2K community is an online universe. Meaning that, let's say you gather up four of your friends, one of you manages Raw, one of you manages SmackDown, the other one manages NXT, etc etc and you compete um for the best show rating systems everything else and this kind of goes in line with the next feature which is gm mode features salaries draft assigning gms merch sales things like that this could easily be an option that they could put in the universe mode implement in the universe mode if you don't want those options you could easily turn them on and off this adds a little bit of a challenge for those who want it rather than just having free will you know you would have to manage money and manage um you know just anything that you would have to do in the wrestling business managing money managing contracts things like that because that's all part of you know the wrestling business so having that be a part of universe mode would be really really awesome like, even if it's just an integration. I don't feel that GM mode needs to be its own mode. Uh, I feel like it can be integrated with universe mode. And it could just be an option where we could just turn it on and off. Because I feel like making it its separate mode kind of is redundant. Since universe mode is kind of the same thing. Except, right now it doesn't have the GM mode features. So just having that be a feature or options would be amazing. Um, another thing is more title slots. There are currently, I believe, eight title slots in here. And one of the ways that you could create more title slots is having separate slots for Money in the Bank briefcases. So we had custom Money in the Bank briefcases be introduced, I believe it was in 2K18, I think it was, uh, that they were introduced. And... Having separate slots for those just so that they don't take up um, actual title slots would be nice. Uh, that would be a lot easier and just be give a lot more options to people who want more titles um, on their shows. Especially if they have multiple shows in the universe mode and they want the different champions to show up on those shows. So it would definitely help out with the immersion and, and things like that um, if people want that to happen uh, in their universe mode. This is something that I thought was really, really cool last night when I was talking to my buddy Sin, and it was watch a match and pick the endings and plan a match. So we have the options to simulate a match. We have the op options to play a match. And we have the option for the CPU versus CPU, um, like you're seeing here. But the thing is, with the AI, you never know what the AI is going to do. So to have kind of this, like, creation suite, if you will, um, for, for content creators or people who just want to do this, to plan out their own match, like, you can plan out the spot and plan out what happens, like, okay... Somebody's going to hit a finisher here. Somebody's going to hit a finisher here. Some Kick out here. Kick out here. Uh, and, and then you can watch it as it's happening. Uh, after you have planned it out. I think that would be a, a lot nicer for those who want just the CPU versus CPU. Um, rather than wa having to play through the whole entire match yourself. Um, that would just give more of an option if people want that. And I think Universe Mode is one of those modes that could benefit from that. Because 
me, I like the creative aspect. I like being able to create my own arenas, be able to create my own story, create my own shows, things like that. And just having that would be a cool option. Even though that I play the matches, just knowing that that's an option that I could have would be awesome. Especially for those people who do the CPU versus CPU. Uh, another thing is the Hall of Fame ceremony. Um, so different things that happen in the wrestling universe, like even if it's like a little cutscene where you have a reward for a Hall of Fame class, that would be kind of cool. Different things that happen in the wrestling universe would make it more immersive um, because this is a simulation-based game trying to emulate what we see on TV. So what better way to do that than to have a Hall, Hall of Fame ceremony? Uh, and this next one kind of goes along with the Hall of Fame ceremony, and that's fan interactive events like meet and greets or something to earn ratings or attribute boosts for your superstars. So, like, let's say, like, even if it's not, like, a full-blown cutscene thing, like, let's say it's just something that you select on your screen. It's kind of like um, NBA 2K with the, with the media where you answer questions and you get fans and chemistry and all that good stuff. So something like that would be kind of cool for even in my career or universe mode um, for your superstars to help boost the rating um, because you know the wrestling universe that's part of the wrestling universe is meet and greets and things like that so anything to make it more realistic more immersive would be cool and I think that's the whole idea of universe mode open challenge and uh, this is a this is a cool thing that I thought would be nice, would be an open challenge. Let's say a superstar comes out, delivers a promo, and does an open challenge. And you can select a random opponent to appear um, in that match. So rather than have your customized participants, you could easily have a random opponent just appear out of nowhere if a superstar does an open challenge for either a title or just for the sake of having an open challenge. So that's the end of my universe mode stuff. Uh, and I got plenty more here. Um, so we have my career for the next thing. Now, I'm not a huge my career player. I'd rather play the exhibition and just do the video stuff on my own if I want to. Um, and add stuff in later. But the my career in 2K20, it wasn't great. Uh, Trey and Red were possibly the dumbest characters that I've ever seen. Trey was just an absolute idiot as far as a character goes. Red was just a sassy, you know, annoying, you know, person. And it, it it's so linear to where the whole point of my career is to have your my player, have your wrestler create your own story, not have this linear story. And in 2K16, you could choose what title you wanted to go after. You know, you had more options in 2K16 than you did in, in, in 2K20. Like, it's cool that they want to add a story to it with voice acting and things like that and, and make it sort of kind of like NBA. But even with NBA, you got to choose a lot of stuff. You get to train, you get to, you know, have the My Park, things like that. Maybe they could use that to apply some... Of those things to the WWE series that, that would be cool to have so creating your own story and, and it's kind of like saying my next thing which is have a story mode that matters like an RPG style where like the choices that you make impact the story uh, so have it kind of be like whether you choose to be a heel or a face like have options for that or maybe because I know in the my career, like, if you failed, you failed. And you had to restart the match again. Like, it was so linear to where, like, you know, you could spoil it for yourself by watching somebody else play it on YouTube. Like, I want there to be options so that not everyone has the same exact thing every single time. Like, that would be really, really nice to have um, for those who want it. Um, another thing is take your my player online and com compete with wrestlers. This is something that is kind of like a pipe dream. Like I said, some of this stuff is kind of like 
not necessarily for 2K22 specifically, but just for the series overall. Because, like I said, their tagline is, it hits different. So, it needs to hit different. It needs to do exactly that. And to have features like this, to really, really, really make a difference, you know, having some of these features would definitely make it live up to the tagline of it hits different instead of it being some marketing strategy um another thing is don't have packs for moves and attires like in 2k20 you had to buy packs for moves let us not do that let it be like 2k16 where you could import your custom superstar and have them you know be like downgraded and then have you level up attributes as you go along and don't do the stupid skill tree because i feel like the skill tree it it just it it makes you have to be one dimensional like you either have to be a high flyer or you have to be this and uh you know with my wrestlers like some of them are you know more high flyers some of them are more strikers but you know i like to have all-arounders meaning that they can do absolutely anything and i want to have that ability with my career with my my player uh for my career like that would be that would be pretty awesome um just to have that again um rather than to have the skill tree was a good idea within within concept but how it was executed just made it more limited and and didn't really give you like options it just limited you it just said you're either this type of wrestler or this type of wrestler and that's all you were um and you can't really customize it to your play style to the way your wrestler is like if i want my wrestler to be a strong big guy like braun Strowman, but still do you know athletic things like you know somebody like keith lee who does moonsaults and very athletic things for somebody of his size like if i want somebody like that then i should be able to do that um i don't think it should be limited so that's the end of the my career stuff um besides uh competing for titles in the my performance center which is kind of like what i mentioned with uh your my player competing online special events for pay-per-views um maybe you get special outfits maybe there's special outfit unlocks or a weapon skin or something like that and that kind of closes out uh the my career stuff um now let's get into the nitty-gritty and that's gameplay now i have a lot of stuff here for gameplay and a lot of these things that you're gonna hear are very very simple things that were in old games or in previous or just maybe even new things that would make the gameplay a lot more fun overall and you know bring people back to the game and make people want to play this game a lot longer than they normally would and that's table physics be able to put the table wherever you want like you can on the outside but there are places where where you're not able to um, there are certain places where you're just not able to put a table or it never sets up right or you end up knocking it over and it just looks weird and like uh, wrestlers never like go to the table like they're supposed to um, you know when you Irish whip them into the table sometimes the animation doesn't work out the way it's supposed to and, and you have to throw them in throw them in again and and something like that and it's it's just not fun um and it and it makes it a pain for matches that you that have tables in them such as extreme rules and tables matches be able to go outside the arena once you're backstage is one of the things that i've wanted to do um i know that you can go outside the arena building in older games so that's kind of something that i would like to see in the newer games is once you're backstage in that parking garage where the truck is um, where the production truck is you should be able to go outside the arena and you know start a brawl in the parking lot if you want to um, or and then go back into the arena if, if you would feel like 
And with the backstage brawl and with brawls being a thing in 2K20, maybe maybe you could use that in the highlight reel or something like that for run-ins or something uh, or other things like that. Um, and this leads me to my next thing, which is jump off of the barricades. When I say jump off of the barricades, I mean the barricades at ringside. Obviously, you have the metal barricades here for the custom arena. This is my custom arena. But the regular barricades, a lot of people jump off of them on TV doing special moves or hang somebody against them. Um, just to have more interaction uh, with, ring, with the ringside area. Be able to grab the ring bell um, from the timekeeper's area and hit somebody in the head with the ring bell. Oh. Also, if the person's a champion, titles should not disappear. They should have it at the timekeeper's area where you can grab the title and use it as a weapon if you want to. Um, you know, that would be nice too as well. Another thing is something that they had in previous games, which was take weapons from the crowd, rip crowd signs, and more crowd interactions. So maybe a, maybe a fan, like, points at you and, and you know, kind of, like, gives you, like, an angry look and you can turn back at them and kind of tell them to shut up or something or whatever, you know? Um, or take somebody's crowd sign that's cheering for the face in, in a rivalry and let's say you're playing the heel and you grab, you know, let's say Finn Balor or somebody who's a... Finn Balor is like against Karrion Cross or something and you know somebody has a sign that says go Finn Balor or something and you know as Karrion Cross you can go over and you can rip that sign apart and then the fan you know starts crying or something like that or whatever I don't know something that would just make it uh, more interactive and more fun because I feel like the crowd is a huge part of part of wrestling though when we didn't have the crowd because of the pandemic and we had the crowd for wrestlemania like it it, it definitely felt like something was missing um it felt like something was missing and something um was you know just not right and and, and to have this in the game you know would just make it more fun and, and more realistic to what we see on tv Another thing is call your tag team partner to help you during a match. There are times in Here Comes the Pain and other previous games where you can call in your partner. You can signal your partner by the press of a button to come in and help you during a match. This would help tag team matches go a lot quicker. Um, you know, because the AI does not always come in and stop the pin or come in and, and help get rid of the other person in the other corner. So this would help tag team matches just flow better uh, and, you know, not last 20 to 30 minutes. Because um, I've had some tag matches where they last forever and I don't intend them to be. It's just how the AI is and the way the AI works in the game that it just makes it a lot, a lot harder. Uh, another thing is, uh, there's an ambulance backstage in the parking garage. Uh, I want the ability to climb that. <laughs> that would be nice to be able to climb the ambulance or climb the scaffolding up in, um, up on the stage or something. Uh, fight on the stairs of the arena. That would be something cool. Um, because when you're in the crowd, you can't really do much. You walk around the crowd and you just hit each other and, and, and that's really it. Um, other than weapons that are set previously based on the template that you have set, there isn't much, um, there isn't much to do. Uh, and being able to fight on the stairs and do a submission in between the railing or, or use the railing or something to, to knock somebody's head against it or something like that, like that would be a, that would just be cool just to have that little of a feature in there um for crowd fighting or to make or to add drama to a match or something like that ladder physics um there used to be i don't know if it's still in the game but i know in the older games you used to be able to bridge a ladder then get on top of that said ladder and then have a ladder in the ring and then use the ladder on the outside that you bridged 
to jump onto the ladder that's inside the ring. Uh, and to have something like that in the game where you could use weapons or props to your advantage in something like a ladder match or a TLC match would be huge. Instead of having to set up a ladder individually and, and having to climb up all the way to the ladder and plus it adds drama during matches like let's say you want to beat somebody to the top but you don't want to knock down the ladder or hit them off of the ladder so so you can use the ladder to launch seven to eight rungs up the ladder and then meet them right at the top of the ladder uh, to create some drama in those types of match types uh, in those types of matches uh, welts and bruises on the back to show wear and tear during the match. I can't stress this enough. Um, the bleeding in this game is not great. Blood adds drama to a match. They always say, JR always says it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of color. Um, a little bit of blood um, in, a, in a wrestling match. And to see welts on, on the backs of some of the superstars after the matches or during matches on TV where they've been hit with a kendo stick. Like, that just adds more to the drama because it looks like it hurts like hell. And what better to have that happen than to have somebody's back be swollen and have somebody walk with a limp because their leg's been kicked in so many times and maybe, maybe they don't wear knee pads so their knee's all bruised up and their knee buckles or something like that. Or, you know, something... Something to show a little bit of wear and tear during a match and to add more drama to the matches. And to have something as simple as this for gameplay. This would add so much for universe mode people especially. For those who want to create, you know, drama in their storylines. Or just to have, you know, just just something to, to tell a story. Because the way a match is choreographed and the way a match is done is all about telling a story. So what more, what better way to do that than to have welts on the back or maybe somebody was previously injured in a match. So maybe somebody joins a gauntlet match and they've been in a gauntlet match for a long time and then they're, they're tired as hell and then they pull out the win, you know, that it, it just creates excitement. And that's exactly what I would like to have in my universe mode, just more options. And, you know, I know I'm saying universe mode a lot, but that's because that's a dominant mode. That's the primary mode that I use. And that's what a lot of content creators use in this game, is universe mode. Or, you know, they create their own through exhibition or, or something like that. So, it's a lot. It would be so much easier and so much more fun just to have these features already there in the game instead of having to work around stuff, spend so much time editing in YouTube videos and, and things like that to try and do do what we want just because the game doesn't make it easy for us um, by simply adding a feature. Uh, this kind of goes along with what I said in the last one, which is bleed in different parts of the body. So maybe instead of the forehead, you bleed in the mouth. Maybe your nose gets busted open or broken or whatever this would be another thing that would be nice is more ref interactions during kickouts uh, there are some animations where you know if somebody doesn't win with a finisher they'll argue with a ref but the ref kind of just walks away and kind of doesn't really do anything so that so to have like more animations maybe the ref is trying to argue with you or you know, the ref threatens to disqualify you or something like that um, if you're doing something wrong. Um, you know, just different uh, ref referee uh, interactions would be nice. More run-in cutscenes. Uh, more run-in cutscenes. There's entrance, there's mid-match, there's post-match. And they all kind of are the same. They run in... They attack somebody from behind, or they run in, or they attack somebody via false entrance, yada, 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 and that's it. There's no, like, running from the crowd, let's say some, well, sometimes there is, depending, it's kind of random. 
it, it, it's really random. And to be able to choose the run-ins, like let's say you want mid-match run-in and you want them to come in through this this spot or you want them to come in through this spot or you want them to come in through this spot or you want them to come in through this spot with this weapon, etc., etc. You know, that would... That would uh, open up so many options. Maybe the wrestler poses as a fan, then jumps, uh, then jumps in the barricade, and, and people think it's a fan, and then it creates this cutscene or whatever between this wrestler and the wrestler unmasks, and you know it, it's somebody else from injury or something like that. Imagine, imagine if if you could do that for like returns or something. That would be huge. That would make, again, add to the drama. Because I feel like one thing that never matters in these games is injuries. You only see it in the news, in the news section, in the news feed. So-and-so is injured. Okay. Like, that matters why. Like, it... Injuries, they're here in the game, but it's almost like they don't even matter. Um, as far as, you know, storytelling ones, they, they, they don't matter. So it's like, I have to make my own storylines, you know, out of that. Um, like b with Big Nasty and Lance Archer, they will face off at RCW Vengeance. Um, my show, my universe mode, because Lance Archer had beaten the pulp out of Big Nasty and he wants a match with him. So, and now Big Nasty wants that match for retaliation. So I had to create that in my own head to make that injury matter. You know, and then I had run-ins and different types of things that I edited together to kind of tell that story. So to have to have options to where I can make cutscenes and and to you know something to where it actually, you know, matters would be amazing. I would love to have that. Um, double title entrances would be nice. Uh, double title entrances, uh, you can have double title matches, but you can't have double title entrances, um, which is stupid. What's the sense of having a double title match if you can't have, you know, double title entrances or triple champion entrances? I would either say at least, at the very least, add double title entrances. Weapon physics. So weapon physics, uh, you know, this is mostly for chair physics and things like that. Different selling animations. It's kind of been the same old, same old animations over and over again. Um, weapon wear and tear, like show that a bat is getting dented or something like that. Or, or a kendo stick gets chopped in half or something because it gets broken. Because it's bamboo after all, so it's easy to break. Um, you know, that's, that sort of thing. Um, you know, just little things like that would add, like I said, more drama and, and just make the gameplay more rewarding. Like I said, a lot of these features are just small little things that they could just add into the game that would do so much for the gameplay. Like, I'm not at... I'm not asking for a lot. Like, some of these features that I said are a pipe dream, meaning that maybe in a few years they actually do it. But a lot of these little gameplay features that you're hearing me list off, I think are just very, very small fixes that they could implement in the game that would just make the gameplay feel fresh and actually hit different. You know, rather than it be the same old, same old 2K that we're so used to seeing. And bring back Royal Rumble entrances. And where you can actually see the person go down to the ring rather than see them come on screen and hear the music and that be it. And and that's pretty much it for the gameplay side of things. So now let's get to the creations. And I know this is going to be a long video and I, I knew this was going to be a long video when I did it. So, <laughs> so I apologize for that, but... These are a lot of features, and uh, 
these are not just mine. These are features that I had um, with my buddy Sakate and Sin. Um, so these guys helped me out uh, with creating this list. Uh, creations. Create a ref would be really, really cool. Having your own logo on the referee shirt would be awesome. More facial templates for superstars would be nice. Instead of having the same ones, I feel like we've had the same ones for so long now. Uh, remove barriers like having a mask on with long hair or having specific attires be restricted. So there are certain attires that you can't apply to people because of their haircuts or because of this or because of that. Like, that shouldn't be an excuse for the fact that we can't use certain things. I feel like adding those barriers only limits the creativity of so many wonderful people that, that create these cause and create all of these awesome things in, in the, the, the 2K community. And I just think having it Having those limitations be brushed away would be a lot more fun than having those restrictions be there and limit everyone. Now this is huge, and I hope they have this in 2K22. I can totally see them having this in, in the next game, and that is cross-platform community creations on one 2K server. So you have PlayStation. Xbox, PC, Switch, whatever the 2K22 is going to be on. You have it all be on one server to where everyone can download commu anyone's community creations regardless of platform. You don't necessarily have to do crossplay like Call of Duty does. That would be cool to add to as well, but just to have the community creations... Because my buddy Sin, he has a PlayStation, and he makes really awesome call creations on his PlayStation that I would love to have here on RCW, but I can't do that because I have an Xbox. And so, having rather than having to have your best buddy buy an Xbox or buy another console just so that they can create creations, having cross-platform creations adds a lot to the game simply because this game 2k19 has been alive this long because of creators like omega man iconic what's the status uh you know it's guys like it's people like them that make this game relevant and keep this game fun and to have cross-platform community creations would immensely help out the community four attire slots per wrestler uh, I feel like we don't have enough attire slots having four per wrestler would be great that way that you could have two attires and then save the other two for pay-per-view attires or something like that that would be awesome separate attires for manager attires so I know that there's a man an entire type where you can set it to be manager but having those four attire slots Maybe have, for each of the four attire slots, you have one slot manager slot. So if, so all together, you would have about 10, maybe 12 attire slots. If, if, if you were to do this. Um, so that would be something awesome to have. And we're going to continue with the creations here. Create your own crowd sign. That would be awesome just to have that there instead of selecting the generic ones. Maybe you could use the lettering. In addition to the image uploader would be nice. Customize a weapon. Uh, maybe you have a Floyd, um, Chris Jericho's baseball bat. Um, you know, or uh, maybe somebody has like a special kendo stick like Hikaru Shida always comes out with a kendo stick now this is a long shot this next one right here is a long shot but I but it's been a highly requested feature and it's custom music 
you could use Spotify Premium integrated and have it integrated with 2K. I mean, there's the Spotify app on Xbox and PlayStation already. Um, I don't know how it would do with licensing and copyright issues. Um, so that would be something that they would have to work out. But like I said, some of these features are kind of a pipe dream. Um, no image limit. No image limit. There's an image limit, I believe, of a thousand images on 2K. And there shouldn't be. Meaning that we would have to delete superstars or delete um, images because of it. And I think having images go based on the amount of memory you have in your system, whether it be you have an external hard drive, you have the storage expansion card like I do with the Series X, or you have the internal hard drive. Wherever you want to store those images, you can store them. And as long as you have that plugged into your device, you'll have access to those images. This would be nice to have a 2K face scan app like NBA has for your My Player, so you can scan your face and have your face be on your wrestler. That, that would be great. Instead of having to mess around with facial morphs and facial templates and, and stuff like that, an image uploader. Because I think, I think it can be hard sometimes to get everything lined up, so to have a facial scanning would be nice. Interactive stage props, and that kind of goes into uh, gameplay a little bit. So let's say you have a ladder on the stage. We should be able to climb it and, you, and you use it. Let's say you have a cage. Maybe you put somebody inside a cage and you bash their knee in like Dakota Kai did with Tegan Knox at NXT TakeOver War Games. Um, that would be nice. Create your own face paint. Uh, having more face paint options or having an entire creation suite just dedicated to face paint would be awesome. Uh, because we've kind of had the same face paint templates for a while. Create your own backstage area. I cannot stress this enough. Create an arena has been the same, same, same thing over and over and over again. And yes, you can do a lot of different things with Create an Arena. But one of the things that you can't do is create your own backstage area. You should be able to create your own backstage area. Maybe you have posters hanging on the walls or maybe or the TVs that are back there that say raw on them. Maybe you can put maybe I can put RCW on them. Maybe you can customize what is playing on the TVs. Maybe a replay or using the highlight reel or the match or something like that. Another thing, highlight reel, get rid of the HUD. Get rid of the VC counter at the top and get rid of the gamer tag uh, at the top. I believe it's at the top right of the screen in addition to the cancel in the bottom left corner of the screen. So get rid of the HUD entirely in highlight reel so people don't have to, so I don't have to zoom in in video editing to make it look like it's actually like in, in gameplay and, and it's not a highlight reel thing. Have sound in the highlight reel. Have crowd sound in the highlight reel. So just have the ability to have sound and you can remove the sound if you want to. And that would be nice too. Now here's, here's my last two categories. DLC and UI. The UI, the user interface. So no more duplicate characters. Meaning that we have Bailey 2012. Undertaker 2002 or 2001. It's the same person with a different attire. Just gather it all up into one thing and have different attires for different superstars. Don't have multiple character slots when you could save those character slots for newer people. It makes absolutely no sense. Animated renders of the character on the selection screen would be cool instead of having them be stationary. 
And that's something that I feel like they can do if they take advantage of the next-gen console technology. DLC. Now, I don't have anybody specific. But I do have this. No more 2K Originals. It was the dumbest idea they ever did with 2K20. It was the stupid idea with 2K Originals. It was dumb. It was... It wasn't great. All it offered was weapon skins in different arenas. It was... It wasn't as great as it could have been. And it wasn't even new people. It was just reskins of current characters. It wasn't even new people that weren't previously in the game. It was just... Reskins of Samoa Joe, or reskins of Baron Corbin, or reskins of Seth Rollins, or Aleister Black. Like, they weren't even new people. Having DLC is the perfect opportunity for people who didn't originally make it into the game to be in the game. I want more NXT talent like Dominic Dijakovic, Karrion Cross, Kushida, MSK. More female talent. I mean, Rhea Ripley was in 2K20. Let's see, we have Zoe Stark as well. Um, who, else, who else can we get that hasn't been in the game yet? I'm trying to think. Uh, Shotzi Blackheart was in 2K20, wasn't she? I think she was. But just having more additional people, like more new people um, for characters. I'd rather spend 20 bucks or 10 bucks for a DLC pack and get five to six new wrestlers than a bunch of reskins of wrestlers that are already in the game. It would just make no sense at all. Um to me it wouldn't make any sense so that is my long list and I know it's been a long video I know it's about almost an hour long um, but I wanted to fully explain some of the features because some of the wish list videos that I've seen um, you know people are like do it well or do this good and they kind of don't explain, like, how they would do it. Um, and some of these things are harder to explain than others. Um, but as you, you could probably tell as I was listing off all those things that a lot of these things are very, very simple and easy to implement. Especially with the gameplay features. I can understand custom music being a problem. I can understand that being a problem. I can understand online universe not being in the game. I can understand that. But having a simple feature like cross-platform creations would easily make this game just and its community more interactive and, and, and wanting to play this game throughout the year and 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 playing obviously online is kind of self-explanatory online obviously servers but i i didn't want to go into that because that kind of goes into overall gameplay itself so that's why i didn't mention anything online so with that being said, let me know what you guys want in 2K22 or the WWE 2K series. Do you think adding some of these features would definitely make the series really live up to that tagline, it hits different? Well, hopefully this year, 2K22 does exactly indeed hit different, and we can all put the disaster of 2K20 all behind us, but... Until we have some more information, 
all of this remains hopes and dreams. And I'm not going to get my hopes up. I encourage all of you not to as well. Um, because we've known to be disappointed. However, I think adding even some of these features, especially the features in the gameplay category that I was going off, will just make the game more fun and make the community want to actually play the game. So let me know what you guys want in the comments below in 2K22 or in the, in a WWE 2K game in general. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you will say kind of the same thing. <laughs> some of the same things that I mentioned, and that's okay. Um, a majority of what I said was some of the stuff that the actual community does want. And that's why I got my buddy Sin and Sakate to do the wish list with me. So thanks to them, I will leave a link in the description of their channels, respectively, of their Twitch channels, respectively, and, and you guys can go check them out. But hopefully, 2K22 hits different this year when it comes to the consoles, and hopefully we can put 2K20 behind us.